All right, so we're back uh, after skipping last week as I was getting over my cold. And unfortunately, though, Anna is not here today. She went out, Aww. sadly. Sorry, Anna. I hope you're enjoying your outing. We miss you. <laughs> we miss you. She's, she's at America's I hope, most I hope you'll watch sport. this VOD later. Yeah, she's at America's favorite sport. Baseball. Oh, yeah. Baseball. Not by choice, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Anna. Yeah, uh, Marco sees that I made some changes to the emotes. Oh, look at that. Walking up there. I walk it in <laughs> thirsty, like, hello. <laughs> Bring was, in my drink. That was the easy animate. <laughs> I, I put that there so I can... I tried to find a way to, like... It, it's pretty great like that, though. It's like, coming mm. in, hey. <laughs> um, and then I What's swapped out here? the Phoenix Wright icons for the face-off because we're in court today. That's Whoa. right. So I had to swap the two out. But they're not way. facing each other, are they? No. Wait, well, yes, they are. Yeah, they He's are. the prosecutor again. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He hasn't been the prosecutor since like the yeah, one yeah. Case. Miles is back. Yeah. He's so. been um in prison, so yeah. yeah. He had like an episode that last episode. He's had issues. Back. Yeah. So um, we'll get into court today, and hopefully Anna can join us next week. Um, it's a lot of court actually, so we're getting through like half a court today, I guess. Whoa. Um, and hopefully we don't go over time. So let's get started, because there's a bunch for this first segment. If we oh want to stop boy. at a good spot, anyway. Oh, boy! Everybody's got their <laughs> characters. We gotta do a little extra heavy lifting, because we're missing Anna, but that's okay. We'll do our best. Uh, we're not missing our cowboy today, though. So it's good. Oh. <laughs> um, I had just the worst here. cowboy voice ready to go. Oh, oh man. no! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Everyone you can still do it for a different you character. You could <laughs> next time, if you wanted to. You and Anna can make a trade-off. <laughs> Good night, Con. Get some rest. Bye. Oh, let me Good shout night. out Con real quick, who played all of Symphony in the N Symphony of the Night today in one stream. Whoa. Yeah, so pro. That's a lot. Pretty much just kind of speed run it, didn't you? Anyway, I I checked it. I was watching it at work. I came home from work. Con was like hit, killed Dracula in like three seconds, and it was done. Whoa. I was like, wow. Speed run. I am the wind. Yeah. <laughs> I, am the other I am the wind. Uh, oh, that's, it's got the best end credit song. It did game. have a great end credit song. <laughs> it was very, I don't know, very not in it's, tune with the rest of the game. It's very 90s. It's very 90s, yeah. Ew. But, um, all right. So we'll get started. And away we go. All right. So February 23rd, 9.34 a.m. District Court. How did the investigation go yesterday, Mr. Wright? I like your line of voice. Yeah, Thank it's you. really good. Yeah, it's good. Frankly, there are still a lot of gray areas. Or rather, the whole thing is one big gray area. Don't worry about me, no matter what the outcome. I'm ready to accept my fate. I believe in you, sis. Mr. Wright, let me offer you a word of advice. Yes? A defense attorney should never believe their client. What? The defendant is called to trial because they are suspected of wrongdoing. Never forget that. Oh, that's right. That is sung by Cynthia Harrell. I forgot. Whoa, what? again? Sim what Sim doesn't she sing? I know. She's great. <laughs> she sang the, um, the end credits for Sim uh, Symphony of the Night. Wow. Yeah. It's crazy. I completely Never forgot. Never forget that either. <laughs> now I gotta go back and listen to it again. Okay. Miss Sky, you... You remind me a lot of Mia. But there is one decisive difference between you and her. And that is... You're not a defense attorney. <gasps> You're right. <laughs> I forgot. I believe it's almost time for the trial. Good luck, Mr. Wright. We're gonna need it. My first trial without a Fay helping me. No one's going to bail me out this time. Not that one. Not that <laughs> one. I'll be alone in there. Completely alone. So, utterly and completely alone. You gotta believe, <laughs> So I have to discover the truth all by myself, because Emma is not going to help me. What? At hey. all. <laughs> Let's do it, Mr. Wright. I'm going to help you. I'll be with you the whole way. Oh, wait. I'm not completely alone. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. 
See my sunglasses. <laughs> Good night, Con. <laughs> It's time for core. Oh my god, yeah, we're back. <clears throat> uh, court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution has been ready for a while, Your Honor. Okay, Ooh. you know, I got here on time. That's all that matters. You and did, and you took 30 minutes to get prepped. <laughs> you know, we're starting on time. All right, <laughs> I, I don't have to show up an hour early. I, I show up an hour early. <laughs> It's Look been two gun. months since I haven't been in a courtroom. It's been two months, but I haven't been in a courtroom since his trial. I've been waiting for him to call me, but he never did. <laughs> don't, don't wait on me to call you, Wright. I hope that personal feelings will not be a part of the proceedings today, oh, Mr. Wright. They're personal. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, is it hot in here? Just me. <laughs> I will choose the path I think is right, regardless of what those around me might say. And what around those what, what those around me might call me. <laughs> uh, the judgment to be made here is in our hands, not those of anyone else. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky has committed an unpardonable crime. Stuffed a body in the trunk of your car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I have to clean it. <laughs> Not only this, but she was rash enough to commit it in the prosecutor's office's lot. Wow, he's much more forceful in person. Tell me about it. I, su I suddenly feel like confessing to everything. However, she will now pay for her rashness with her life. Hey, rendezvous! There was a witness to her crime. A professional witness. Well then, call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls its first witness, Miss Angel Starr, to the stand. The cough-up queen? Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Professional. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> haven't I seen you somewhere before? You ordered the caviar lunch, right? Oh, oh caviar! I've never eaten caviar before. Bring that on up. <laughs> the judge is really wolfing it down. <laughs> ah, and for you, I have a fiesta bowl. Uh, thanks. Will the witness state her name and profession? Ah, and you, sir. Did you order the fingerprint lunchbox? Is that just rice? <laughs> it's <Yeah>. just rice. <laughs> it is too early for lunch. Your name and profession, please. Hmm. Well, Your Honor, how does it taste? Hmm, so this is why everyone raves about caviar. Hmm, so tasty it hurts. Hmm, I always thought caviar would taste like pickled tapioca. <laughs> what the heck does pickled tapioca taste like? Ew. <laughs> name, profession, now. Me? The name is Angel Star. Don't go forgetting it. I find myself running Lunchland these days. Is that what you wanted me to say, Mr. Edgeworth? Very well, witness. Please describe the incident to us. Mm -mm. Prosecution will wait. I'm not finished eating. Mm. <laughs> Hurry it up. Mm -mm. Okay. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> As you know, we usually call oh so good. We usually call on the police <laughs> to provide a description of the crime. Please don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs> mm. Your Honor, as Mr. Edgeworth has said to the court, I am a professional. Ah, uh, huh? What, what? What exactly is the, does that mean? Until two years ago, Miss Angel Star was a special investigator with the police. Oh, that okay. <laughs> She was a first-rate homicide detective. What? Miss Star was a detective? Ah! Oh, 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 I know who you are! Cough up? Cough up queen, Angel Star, your honor. Long time no see. Oh, very well. <laughs> you may continue with the description, Miss Star. Just who is this lady? If I might have the court's attention over there. 
Whoa, a diagram. Hmm. I brought my own chart. <laughs> the parking lot at the prosecutor's office is divided into two blocks. A block is for the prosecutor's office personnel. B block is for visitors and clients. A chain divider separates the two blocks, a.k.a. a fence. Mm -hmm. That's what we call those. I suppose that's to keep visitors from taking oh, up prosecutor joke. spaces. Oh, that's me. That's me. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm going to any more of that caviar. Can't get it <laughs> off my mind. Uh, I suppose that's to keep visitors from taking up prosecutor spaces, yes? The crime took place by a car in the back of A block, in the car's trunk. The killer stabbed the victim with this knife and went to drive the body out. Unfortunately for her, there was a witness and an arrest was made on the spot. And who was this valiant witness? Why, it was me, Your Honor. Parking lot floor plans added to the court record. Nice. You can keep that. Thank you. <laughs> Witness, did you see the very moment of the crime? Of course, Your Honor. Immediately after that, I apprehended the chief prosecutor. Hmm. It seems rather cut and dry, doesn't it? Well, Mr. Wright? Uh, I can't argue on principle, Your Honor. It seems that some poor losers are unwilling to accept the truth, Your uh, Honor. What? Losers. You heard me. What? <laughs> <laughs> Shall I proceed to crush what little hope they have remaining? If you can, then give them your worst, Miss Star. Oh, I want to see this. Wait, are they talking about me? I think they're talking about you, Phoenix. I think they're talking about us. Losers is plural, Emma. What? Oh, man. <laughs> Loser says what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Somehow, I always knew a day like this would come. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. He's a cowboy. No, the other boyfriend. <laughs> oh, that's right. I can't. Which one was it? <laughs> the other boyfriend. I need to check my book. Oh, my God. <laughs> when I sensed something, perhaps it was my finely honed detective's intuition at work. Through the wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing next to a garish car. The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Garish car. <laughs> garish. Then she thrust the pointy tip of the knife into Detective Goodman's chest. Oh, God. Hmm. Bringing a lunchbox to your boyfriend. How touching. Hmm. Huh. As you can see, there is no room for doubt. The key point of your testimony seems to be nothing other than the point of the knife, which you saw being stabbed into Detective Goodman. Oh, I just came up with that. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Your Honor. So, how does it feel to be so utterly crushed? I, I'm still thinking about that. It's merely a flesh room, Miss Mer <laughs> 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 We got the joke, <laughs> oh. Emma. It's okay. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. I had a peanut butter sandwich before this. Yeah, we all made <laughs> My mouth's all sticky. <laughs> Somehow I always knew Yeah, uh, yeah like okay. Destiny, right? You. Um, how did you know? I respect the prosecutor's basic abhorrence of crime. Yet their methods are ugly and twisted. Twisted methods will always lead to tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> the lunch lady's uninformed opinion is duly noted smug given that they are used to erasing inconvenient evidence at their whim <laughs> killing off a detective that knew too much is merely an extension of that mm. nice bang flip <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> miss star do you have a do you have something personal against prosecutors hey there eat hook I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if I hadn't been laid off by those prosecutors over there, I'd still be one. Laid off? She was fired. To me, prosecutors are nothing more than worms. 
please step on me. <laughs> <laughs> that cost extra. <laughs> that said, I am a pro, as you know. My testimony is unbiased and flawless. What? They literally just expressed all kinds of biases. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally a second ago. <laughs> Michael says, the Onigiri hat, OMG. Yeah. <laughs> Very well. You may continue, Miss Star. I was on my way to deliver yeah, a lunchbox. Yeah, okay, hold on a second. <laughs> this boyfriend. Oh, talking. He's the detective. Not that boyfriend. The security guard. Th that boyfriend? You have several? Yes, this boyfriend, that boyfriend, the other boyfriend. Care to join? Whoa. The yet another boyfriend position is still open for applicants. I'll stick with the lunches, thanks. <laughs> Note to self, the judge had to think before replying. The security guard room is in the lot, in A block. It's up on the second level, so you can see everything from there. That would be the room with the security sign. Hmm. Incidentally, did you bring your lunchboxes by car? Since I'm a visitor now, I parked in B block. So, she was in B block when she witnessed the crime. When I sensed something, perhaps it was my finely honed yeah, detective's intuition. Yeah, okay, hold intuition. it. <sighs> you sensed something. So, you're saying you had a premonition of the murder? Or are you a psychic? It felt like, how would you say... Oh, yes. It was like the feeling you get when you view a pumpkin chock full of seeds. What? <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Speaking of a detective's intuition, wasn't the victim, Mr. Bruce Goodman, also a detective? Yes, well, he was like a young cheese. Uh, uh, young cheese? A pale white cheese, not yet tangy with experience on the streets, a greenhorn. Hmm, then I must be hard, yellowed, and sharp as a tack. Yeah, with the odor of an old cheese to match. I'd like her removed from the courtroom. No, wait, <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> Watch your mouth. No. In any case, there in the lot, I felt something stirring in the back of my mind. Through the wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor. Hey, hold it. But the car by... was so garish. Yeah, by garish <laughs> car, you mean. Mr. Edgeworth's car, yes. Mr. Edgeworth. Incidentally, the knife with which the victim was stabbed was also Mr. Edgeworth's, wasn't it? Mm, indeed, it was. Oh my God! Right, he's a murderer. Right, I pain? think he did it. I want cheese. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, what an odd case this is. And the person you saw, you're sure it was the defendant? I saw her from no further than thirty feet away. I am certain it was her. If she's telling the truth, we're doomed. Let's just do what we can. Even if we don't have any proof, we can always nitpick. Right. I'm good at nitpicking. <laughs> Witness! In your testimony, you clearly stated the following. Prosecutors are nothing more than worms. I repeat, prosecutors are nothing more than worms. <laughs> so please yes, step yes. on me. <laughs> there we go. You are a biased witness. You might want to keep those silly opinions to yourself in the future, rookie. Huh? Rookie? Unless you're willing to risk the consequences of doubting me. Uh. I'll fry you like a fritter. Crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. That was inspiring. That was a threat, what? Your Honor. No, it was amazing. I believe I've heard that tagline elsewhere. You could cry plagiarism. I object. Plagiarism. <laughs> <laughs> I may be relegated to the lowly post of lunch lady, but my instincts are honed. Uh, a, a photograph? You took this? The moment I witnessed the crime, my reflexes took over and snap. I took a picture. In fact... One of my lunchboxes is rigged with a camera. What? 
I suppose that's more exciting than just hanging it around your neck. Witness, why am I only seeing this photograph just now? You think I'd show it to you, a prosecutor? Think again. Damn. Oh. What? My boyfriend works in the photography division of criminal affairs. Well, this is most certainly the defendant. Moment of the crime. Uh-oh. That is unmistakably Lana Sky. So, what was the defendant doing at the time? The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. I right, hold it. Tell me more about this knife that the suspect was carrying. It was sharp. Really? <laughs> Well, I'd say the blade was about four inches long. Dang. Is that right, Mr. Edgeworth? It is your knife, after all. Uh, <clears throat> yes, that's about right. Prosecutors are by nature well-versed in the location of a man's vital organs. Wait, what? what? <laughs> I'm sure it was easier than boiling an egg for my egg salad surprise set. Y you can't testify as to her ability to kill an egg. I mean, a person. <laughs> Hmm. Perhaps a chicken salad set would have been a better metaphor. So, the defendant was holding a knife. What then? Then, she thrust the pointy tip of the knife into Detective Goodman's chest. It's only a flesh wound, yeah, Mr. Yeah, okay, Wright. you did you that joke it? already. <laughs> <laughs> you said that before. Anything else? Scientifically speaking, Miss Starr's testimony is flawless. Sounds pretty fatal to me. What do we do? Is this it? Is my sister guilty? Yeah, I think so. Let's just keep our heads cool and press the witness a bit, shall we? For some reason, having her panicking next to me makes me calmer. Don't smile like that. <laughs> Somehow, right, I always so this is the knew same. a day so like what this. Do we We're wanna, starting over again. What do we want to <laughs> throw at her? Hmm. Don't throw anything at me. Let's throw the knife at her. There's no prince <laughs> on the knife. <laughs> throw the knife at her in the case Think now. fast! <laughs> I mean, she was holding it, right? So... Yeah. I mean, in the picture, she's not holding it. Let's look at the picture. Well, true. She's looking at it in the pic. Oh, that's the wrong one. Wrong photo. Uh, this one. Well, she's wearing gloves. Yeah. She's wearing okay. gloves, So, but this, the knife has fingerprints on it. Yeah. Wait, it said there were no fingerprints on it. Oh, did mm -hmm. it say there were no? I thought it said I... there were fingerprints. No prints. No prints. Oh. Okay. So that tracks. Die with an hour One and a half, 4 p.m. Wound. Does it say what time the picture was taken on the details of the mm, photo? Let's see here. Oh, no, it doesn't. Wait, what the heck? She's in the A block? Yeah. Is that's, that's correct. Is that, is that layout right? There's a wall behind her? I think that is correct. Yeah, yeah, there's right. the wall. But she said it's the moment of the crime, but she's not stabbing it. Yeah, she's not actually <laughs> no. stabbing it at the moment. It's just shoving the body in the trunk. Yeah. She's only guilty of shoving a body in the trunk. Doesn't even look like there's a body. Yeah, there's no body. <laughs> no, we can't even see it. All right, well, we can go with that. I saw they're standing next to the car. Car. Well, she's definitely not holding a knife in her right hand at this moment. Yeah. Right? Well, she's already covered in blood. Yeah. That's holding a knife in the right hand. Okay, so that's that's it. That's all we have to work with with this set. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so it's probably one of those last two. Which yeah, one do you want to go probably. with? I have probably the one where it's like she's holding a knife. Because she's not holding a knife in the photo? Yeah, she's not hold. There's no knife in the photo, so... Okay, let's try that. Objection. Yeah. Music the stopped. music stopped. That's how you know. And you witnessed this. You saw Miss Guy stab the victim with a knife. As I've already said, yes, I swear it on my finest salmon swirl lunch. Mmm, I'm sure that is a fine lunch. But isn't that odd? Look at this photograph. Look at this, this photograph. <laughs> This, oh I thought God. we were done with that <laughs> joke, but no. <laughs> it came back in the next case. This is a photograph you took of the very moment of the crime, is it not? Then why is Miss Sky not holding a knife? Where'd the knife at? <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Well? 
Um, I don't know. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Objection. That had to that? be the weakest objection ever, Edgeworth. <laughs> Yet it was still stronger than your ever feeble mind, Mr. Wright. Wow. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? I thought you two were buddy buddy. <laughs> Why does everybody think that? Because <laughs> I saved your life. Okay, maybe maybe that's why. This <laughs> photograph was not taken the moment before the stabbing. This was taken the moment after the stabbing. And how can you tell that? Blood splatter. Huh? I just like to say that. Mm -hmm. uh, see, see the dark crimson stains on the chief prosecutor's coat? But it's a black and white photograph. Ah, yes, it's that could hard be ketchup. To tell. That could be blood. Or ketchup. <laughs> or ketchup. Well, Mr. Wright, I see no problem here. No. That's no you. problem except you. Mr. Wright, are you just going to sit there and take that kind of abuse? Ah. Uh, <laughs> you got a better idea? We have an objection. Of course we do. We can't have yeah. no problem with this. Wait, that contradicts what the witness said in her testimony. Namely, that she took the picture the moment she witnessed the crime. Yeah! Well, it seems I was slightly unclear. My apologies. Help us, Nickelback. That's right. Electric licorice. <laughs> <laughs> Th that's it? If you run out of lunch, you order seconds. Problem solved. If you don't like it, try ordering the jumbo-sized lunch from the get-go. Oh. Good advice. I'm not sure I understood it, but good advice. I didn't have time to stop her. Prosecutor Skye was cold, calculating like a robot. She killed without pain or remorse. It was a premeditated murder. Objection? Premeditated? How do you know? Look at the chief prosecutor's hands in that photograph. Well, are those gloves? Surgical gloves made of thin rubber, most likely. Why would she have those on? Uh, some people just wear gloves. <laughs> if it was not premeditated, she would not be wearing those gloves. Ah. <laughs> That's oh, right, I'm nobody sorry. wears gloves. Yeah. Nobody wears gloves unless they're going to commit murder. <laughs> <laughs> These gloves do seem to tell a tale of premeditation. Premeditated murder. A serious offense. Witness, add this to your testimony. The murder was planned. The rubber gloves prove it. Hold it. What if she was just in the habit of wearing gloves? Like, driving gloves. Like, she's wearing gloves right now. Yeah. Objection. The gloves were admitted as evidence when the defendant was arrested. They were rubber gloves, of the kind used for autopsies. In other words, when the chief prosecutor came to the crime scene, she came to do murder. It's the only possible conclusion one can make. Everything was planned. It was a premeditated crime. Ah! Impressive! I'm sorry they took you off the force, Miss Star. This is bad. She's got them thinking this was all planned. If she can prove this claim, the trial's already over. I've got to think of a way to show that this wasn't premeditated. It was just murder. Did she plan to, like, <laughs> put the body in Edward's car and kill him with Edward's knife? <laughs> it's only Okay, a yeah, alright, you said you that before. It. Anything else? Scientifically speaking, Mister's testimony is it's flawless. Okay, yeah, it sounds pretty fatal to me. What do we do, yeah, my yeah, sister? Let's keep, yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> Don't smile like that, but the white. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we gotta go to the next part. And I'm part. starting over from the beginning now. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Just enough. <laughs> and this, and the rubber gloves, and mm, the premeditated. And I've got you. Murder. Cough up queen. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Rescue's office lot and her lot at 512. It's this. Oh, the badger. <gasps> of course. <laughs> PM. What's the phone? 
Victim's memo found in the car trunk. Remember, uh, this is... The call she made to her to sister. Emma. Mm. At 518 on the day of the murder. Hmm. Parking lot with Edward's car. Hmm. Hmm. How can we show that what this time was did... not oh, no. planned? Hmm. <laughs> Goodman? Six? Seven mm. S? Seven five? Mm. Twelve two? What time um, did the, like, on the autopsy, what does it say for his death time? Died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. Died within an mm -hmm. hour and The car half of 4 PM. entered the lot at 5.12, so. Okay. Roughly so the car, so, hmm. Well, oh, we can look at this. Anything on the back of that? <laughs> this is dated the day of the crime. The murder took place three minutes after Edgeworth parked his car. That's awfully fast. Yeah. If only he was held up at a couple extra lights. He wouldn't have been caught up in this whole affair. Perhaps. It just goes to show you never know what'll happen when you run a yellow light. <laughs> Somebody might get murdered and be put in the back <laughs> of your trunk. So it was mm. 221. Mm. Yeah, that's all that's on here. All right, there's more. Maybe? How the dead loss of blood from chest wound, wound was caused by a four and a half four. inch knife single stab wound was found. Hmm. The death between four and 5.30. Hmm. Mm. The prosecutor. I see, I see something about that note, but I don't think it's relevant to this. Oh, what about yeah, it though? What maybe you, not. A little, you this the, one? the handwritten note, yeah. Can you flip says, it upside? Oh, you can't move it. I but can't if, move yeah. it. If it's upside down, it's 221. Which would be the yeah. date. Yeah. And then underneath it, it would say SL9. SL9? Yeah. yeah. But I don't think that's relevant here. Yeah, not yet. Hmm. Name and ID. I wonder why they only use numbers for IDs. What else would they use? Letters, silly. They're the reason we have a written language in the first place. True. Oh, yeah, letters. Sergeant. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've done this. Yabadab. Yabadab. Yabadabadoo. <laughs> Yabadab. It does have a certain ring to it. Exactly my point, tee hee. <laughs> oh. Okay, remember Plain when stones. the rubber gloves proves it? Maybe there's still something else in the photo we're missing. Oh. Hmm. I can't examine it. It's premeditated. She's got the coat. Yeah. Damn, this dude was spraying blood out of him. Yeah. yeah seriously. I mean, like, okay, so thought if it was a premeditated murder, why didn't she bring her own knife? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, she because it was an Edgeworth toolbox. Yeah, that's kind of weird, right? Wait, where, the car where's the toolbox? It's in I the car, it's, right? Yeah, in I mean, his I would car. presume it would be in the car. So she got the knife out of his car. Right? Yeah. This must be the victim's blood, right? Either that or Edgeworth's cut himself peeling an apple. What's, What's Edgeworth, Edgeworth doing with a knife like this anyway? Yeah, what is oh, Edgeworth doing you. with a knife like this anyway? <laughs> he likes to peel hey. apples. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he spends his weekends roughing it in the wild. Edgeworth? In the wild? I think my fruit peeling theory is more likely. Are you kidding? I always pictured him as an outdoorsman. How did you picture him, Phoenix? Uh, <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I, I don't know. I we think can, it we, must be this, but... I, that's all I can think of. That's yeah. all I've got. Right? Present the knife. Objection. Oh, you got it. <gasps> hey, witness. Do you know what this is? Are you trying to test me? I sell lunch boxes for a living, you know. I've seen a knife. Right? <laughs> That's a knife. The knife. The knife that was in Mr. Edgeworth's trunk. The knife especially made for Mr. Goodman. <laughs> yeah. Goodman's the knife, knife made for killing Mr. Goodman. The Goodman's <laughs> knife. <laughs> Indeed, it is my knife. Oh my god, maybe he's a murderer. Wow. He did it! Where's Ritter's case? The bloody murder weapon to defend the defendant is too bad for you, Ritter's case. Mommy! Mommy! <laughs> I'm afraid to do these bad people! 
<laughs> the defense has a request. We ask that the witness provide an accurate testimony. <laughs> uh, what's that, rookie? In your testimony, you stated that Lana Sky planned this murder. And that's why she was wearing those special gloves. Seems like a natural conclusion to me. The gloves do indicate planning. However, why would she not also prepare the most important thing, the murder weapon? <clears throat> this knife just happened to be in the trunk of that car. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to plan a murder, you don't forget the weapon. <clears throat> oh, wow, right. she really That's a point. It. That's crazy. Order, order. I'd like to order another lunch before we go. <laughs> Great, now the tide is turning in our favor. Great show, Mr. Wright. My sister's as good as free. No, no, no. <laughs> right. I believe the next lunch you'll be eating is humble pie. Oh, what? we got you. <laughs> he was thinking of that one for a really long time. Yeah, I'm sure he was. <laughs> I hope you weren't deluding yourself into thinking that the tide has turned. How did you read my mind? <laughs> I I know you really well, right? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> not over not over such a trifling detail. But but this shoots a hole in the whole premeditated theory. Bah. The prosecution would care less if it was premeditated or not. The only one who seems to care is that lunch lady over there. <clears throat> the defendant Lana Sky murdered a detective with a knife. So what? <laughs> 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 that is the only thing the prosecution need prove. Nothing else. Very good, Mr. Prosecutor. I suppose you think you're clever now. I'm very smart. <sighs> but you know as well as I do that she planned on killing him. It was planned. If it wasn't, why would she have been wearing... Excuse I me? I believe I'd like to hear your testimony again. Witness, please tell us only what you saw and not what you thought. How dare you? My powers of deduction are not to be underestimated. Really now? Deduction. Lana Sky intended to murder Detective Goodman. Yeah. That's why she called the victim all the way to the prosecutor's office. This is from her photographic memory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the chief prosecutor had a grudge against the victim. Yeah, this is all opinion based. She's not doing anything Edra no. just asked. Yeah. No. Nothing else could drive that human machine to plunge the knife in again and again. Again and a what? Again that wasn't what I asked and for. again. <laughs> the victim was summoned from the police department to the prosecutor's office. Mm, does sound a lot like premeditation, doesn't it? So, if I ordered a pizza, does that mean I'm planning to kill the delivery boy? Exactly, she good, gets good it. Good point. No In any case, <laughs> the, the defense may now cross-examine the witness. Lana Sky. Yeah, okay, hold it. <sighs> you said that, but you haven't told us how you know. That's what I'm about to tell you, rookie. I believe what she just said was a mere prelude to the story she's about to tell. She's weaving the fibers together. Oh, God. So try not to interrupt her. Rookie. Never interrupt a storyteller. It's like pulling a bun out of the oven half-baked. Something's half-baked here, all right, and it's you. Try not to confuse the defense witness. They're not very quick on their feet. What? Now, why did you believe the suspect had intentions to murder the victim? Her actions speak for themselves. Mm hmm That's why she called the victim all the okay, way... hold it. <sighs> you have no proof that Miss Sky called him there. You have no proof that she didn't. What? <laughs> hmm, Mr. Edgeworth, thoughts? Why is the burden of proof on the defense, Your Honor? <laughs> <laughs> There is no record of a call made on the defendant, Miss Lana Sky's phone. Thank you. She might have written him a letter, for all I know. Come on, you could have tried public phone first, at least. There's one in the a garage. What? 
In any case, <laughs> the victim came to the prosecutor's office where he was murdered. Mm hmm. I'm sure he had a reason to be there. Witness. Why do you think it was the suspect who summoned? Why are we indulging her fantasy? Oh, I know. Because I, I want another lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the chief prosecutor yeah, okay, had a hold grudge. It. <sighs> what kind of grudge? Well, I wouldn't know that. Of course you don't. That's because she didn't have a grudge. Rookie, I have a lunchbox here. Now, what's inside? A bomb. How <laughs> am I supposed to know? See, we agree that there's a lunchbox here, but we don't know what's inside. A person's life is like a lunchbox with pretzels. Don't you agree? With pretzels. What? <laughs> I get it. That's why my lunch was so salty. Hey, Shiloh, how's it going? This judge isn't very good with metaphors. I'm so good with metaphors. <laughs> the suspect had a grudge against Detective Goodman. Will you tell us your basis for thinking this? It's simple. Nothing else could drive that human machine to plunge okay, the hold knife it. in. Hold your fantasy. I'm getting to the good part. A human machine? That's a contradiction. That's an Objection. oxymoron. All right. Please. Can't you find fault with something of substance, Mr. Wright? Note to self, Mr. Edgeworth's size smell like citrus fruit. What? <laughs> Felix um, already knew that. <laughs> you say again and again. How many times did she stab him exactly? We often say chop into a thousand pieces, but we don't actually mean a thousand pieces. What difference does it make if the deed is done? How come she's getting mad at me? I've been mad at you from the moment I walked in. Let's just say she stabbed him several times and leave it at that. Leave it at that? This is a murder case, people. Mr. Wright, you should speak up if you have an objection, you know. Miss Starr has turned out to be a short, as short-tempered as she looked when we met her. Challenging her abilities as a detective really set her off. The short wick burns out the fastest. It's a scientific fact. I wonder... Wouldn't it depend on the size of the candle? I mean, add more wax and even a really short wick will burn longer. Oh. <laughs> Obviously, more scientific testing is required. But I digress. <laughs> Lot of sky yeah, okay. this and that. So, and something you know, about lunch and it's knifing, probably knifing. something about this, right? Yeah. That's There's only yeah. one stab. The autopsy. The autopsy. A single stab wound was found. Yeah. Girl, come on. Objection. You say she stabbed him again and again, but you couldn't have witnessed that. Are you testing me? Then I'll test you. With my moss surprise. Ew. I'm afraid the moss is growing under our feet as we wait, Miss Star. <clears throat> what do you mean? I shouldn't have to explain this, but take a look. The autopsy report states that the death was due to a loss of blood from one stab wound. I love it when he does my job for me. <laughs> for real. Aha! You're right! Good show, Mr. Edgeworth! To disprove my what, own witness. That, hey, hang on. <laughs> what a hunk! He's my hero, really. Uh, what about my objection? No one noticed? Well, witness! Um... You got the crime scene set, right? Ah, uh, oh, thanks! I always believed that no one could ever mistake ketchup for blood. But now I realize that such mistakes are possible. So, you're saying you mistook something for blood? When she lifted her knife, I thought I saw blood at her breast. Splattered blood from her victim. That's why I thought she must have stabbed him at least twice. Then tell us what you saw that you thought was blood. Testify! 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 Her red muffler looked like blood to me. Okay. That's how ghastly the whole scene was. Okay, hold Roll it. Roll the now tape. We... Is she wearing it? <laughs> Her red muffler? Yes, it's like a scarf. The chief prosecutor always wears one around her neck. 
So she can be easily hanged at a moment's notice, I suppose. She's Yeesh. right. Miss Guy was wearing a red scarf, wasn't she? But wait. Isn't it odd that you mistook that for sp splattered blood? Yeah. Mm. Thought you were a professional. <laughs> well, well, people often mistake my beard for a bib. <laughs> <laughs> a judge with a bib? That's why this place feels so much like kindergarten sometimes. Damn. Actually, I do think I saw some traces of blood on her chest. However, the autopsy report is clear on this matter. There was only one knife wound. Mm. Apparently, Miss Starr isn't entirely sure of her own testimony. Mr. Wright, this is our chance. Chance for what, I wonder? Miss Starr has turned out to be as short-tempered as she looked, but we met her. Right? We're gonna set her off. Mm. We're gonna talk about the candle Strike again. Wick burns the fastest. Yeah. Tended okay. to murder Detective Goodman. Okay. We're going around the horn again. Going around this again. <laughs> Red muffler. This is where I'm leaving you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where is the picture? Well, it's in black and white. Yeah, but is she even wearing a muffler? She's oh, not. she's not. Um... Good eye. Objection. Miss Starr, I demand an explanation. Objection. The witness is clearly not suited for detective work. Threaded John Wick burns quickly. <laughs> what? The suspect was not wearing a scarf or muffler of any kind when she stabbed the victim. She <laughs> Edrith is just stealing Phoenix's thunder today, <laughs> right? <laughs> and you've proved it yourself with this photograph. Are you sure you don't want to be a defense attorney? Well, huh? But that that can't be. Only a professional lunch lady could be so utterly clueless. Oh. Congratulations. Perhaps you finally found your true calling in life. Hmm, harsh words, but good. You nailed her. <laughs> in the end, Mr. Edgeworth prevails. What was my objection, chopped liver? But it was there, a scarf. No, not that, but something red, really. Smack. Well, now, where were we? The witness has given us an entertaining interlude, but back to business. What? Very well, witness. Continue your testimony. You saw the crime and apprehended the suspect. Tell us about that. <sighs> Very well. I do remember some things accurately, at least. Ultimately, we couldn't shake the most important part of her testimony. The most important part? The part where your sister stabs a victim. This next testimony just might just be the moment of truth. After the murder, the suspect attempted to run behind a partition off to her side. I quickly caught her, explained her rights to her, and arrested her on the spot. Ah, yes, when I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what had me confused in my earlier testimony. The chief prosecutor made to escape, but against Angela Starr, resistance is futile. Dang. You are quite determined about this scarf, aren't you? I strike like a snake and bite like a cobra. That wasn't last oh. themed. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, Angel Starr. Cough up, queen. That wasn't a very good metaphor. First of all, a cobra is kind of a snake. Don't bother me with useless details unless you want to get bitten. No thanks. Note to self, Mr. Wright is weak against poisonous snake bites. The chief prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. Uh, an oil drum? Hard to imagine. Oh, she's beautiful, but deadly. A predator, this one. A leopard woman. Wow. <laughs> wow. V very well, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination, if you will. Uh-huh. After the murder... Yeah, okay, hold it. <sighs> so where is this partition on the floor plans? It's the partition-shaped thing. 
I'm sure she means this wall next to the car. That's right. There was a wall there, about six feet high. She was obviously trying to hide herself. Quite a natural thing for a criminal to do. And what did you do then? I quickly caught her, explained her rights to her, and okay, arrested hold it. her. You say quickly. Were you close to the suspect? As I just said, I was only 30 feet away from her the whole time. Hmm. Maybe I should press her for more details. Press her. I'd like to see on this, on this, see this on the floor plans just to be safe. <sighs> the lunch land car was... She was a visitor, thus she was parked in B block. So you witnessed the murder from here? That would make it about 30 feet from the car. Yes, yes. Is that correct, Miss Star? I yes, that's right. But there was a chain link fence in front of you. I went over it, of course. What? That's amazing! The cough up queen, lunch lady athlete indeed! It would have taken her a little time to climb over the fence. So she couldn't have gone to my sister that fast. I can scramble like a spider monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that fence was about nine feet high, too. So how did Miss Guy not get away? Ah, uh, yes. When I arrested her, she mentioned right, the, hold mu it. the um, muffler. She mentioned the muffler. What exactly did she say? If I remembered exactly, I would have told you in my testimony. Cheeky. Huh. <laughs> anyway, all I heard her say was the word muffler. Just that one word? So what you heard wasn't the suspect talking to you, but to someone else? Yes, the chief prosecutor was talking on her phone. Her phone? She can't mean... Ask further. By phone, do you mean this cell phone discovered at the crime scene? Yes, ultimately. Ultimately? My memory... It's like a salmon heading upstream, you see. How is that the analogy what? you want to make? <laughs> no, the, the court doesn't see Miss Star. Even salmon? the judge doesn't know. <laughs> The chief prosecutor first attempted to use the phone hanging on the wall. On the wall? That's right. Near the car, there was an emergency phone on the wall. Look at this wall. <laughs> what is this photograph? Every time I do it, falls. I, apparently, <laughs> it was out of order. <laughs> and so she used a cell phone. Like a normal person. Indeed, the emergency phone was out of order that day. Hmm, good witnessing, witness. Good witnessing. I like her. Whatever happened to good testifying? You should, of course, add this to your testimony. <laughs> the things I do to please this rookie defense attorney. Oh, Word man. muffler was heard during the call. Yeah. I saw it all. How she tried the phone on the wall, but had to use her cell instead. I right, hold it. Um, do you think you could restate your testimony for the court? Aha! I was going to ask the same thing! I'll only say this one time, so listen close, rookies. The chief prosecutor stabbed the victim and ran behind the partition. Do you remember where that is? Mm -hmm. well, then she right picked there. up the emergency phone on the wall, but it was out of order. So she pulled her own cell phone out of her pocket. I scrambled over the fence. Dang. <laughs> and during that time, you climbed over the chain link fence. Whoa. <clears throat> then when I boldly grabbed her arm, the chief prosecutor hung up her phone. And you saw her doing this. Oh, huh? what is it, Mr. Wright? The chief prosecutor made to escape. Okay, hold it. it I she was made my big to statement. escape. Can you be more specific? She brushed aside my hand and ran. It was a terrible sight to see, like a dollop of lard on a pate of foie gras. Huh? Huh? 
She even kicked over an oil drum at me. Uh, an oil drum? Hmm, there was an oil drum lying on its side at the scene of the crime. But it's strange. Hmm? What's that? If she wanted to escape, why didn't she just run the other way? The other... Ah! The parking lot entrance! That's right! It doesn't make any sense that she would run from behind the partition to the oil drums. <sighs> Excellent! More mysteries. I wish we could solve a few before finding more, though. So, Miss Sky tried to run. I'm sorry my sister is so suspicious, Mr. Wright. Not as sorry as I am. But she didn't do it. You have to believe me. After the murder, the suspect attempted to run behind a partition off to her side. Mm -hmm. Is this the start again, or am I... It's it me. did. I think that's the start, okay. yeah. Right. We've gone around the horn okay. because... This one We're won't let it go. Back to the she tried to fall on the wall, but had to sell instead, <laughs> and then made to escape, but didn't work. Resistance right. is futile. Where's that phone? Mm. That got updated. Yeah. Take the batteries out. There it is. Boop. <laughs> Redial button. Beep. There's no need to push this again. What's wrong? You look like you look you look like I do during finals. Never mind, it's nothing. Alright, well. Man, what a boring strap. What's wrong with it? Everyone has different tastes, you know. Here, check out mine. It's right, a I know you showed strap. this to me before. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> look yeah. at it again. <laughs> hmm. What didn't it say that or Hmm. I don't know if word muffler was they... heard. I think I know what it is. Oh, well, go for know. it. Yeah, it was. Uh, it, we have to back up a statement. Okay. Um, I tried to use. Yes, she says she tries to use the phone, but she couldn't have seen it from the map. Oh, oh. true. She's behind the wall. Right. Yeah. Good point. Good point. So we use the map, I guess. I think the map then. Yeah. Wow, good brain. Oh, Thanks. good spotting. Miss Star, I have to conclude that you have a personal grudge against Miss Lana Sky. Objection. The witness is a former detective. Her testimony is unmarred by personal bias. Ex yeah. Yeah. Even you know that's, a, that's right. wrong. It's <laughs> a bold face lie. Well, who would have thought you would be my knight in shining armor, prosecutor? You who, together with the chief prosecutor, Kicked me out two years ago. Oh. Oh. Well, Miss Star, this is a fatal this is a fatal contradiction with your testimony. How do you explain this? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Mess with me, and I'll make you cough it all up. <clears throat> Let's look at the floor plans. <laughs> you said you witnessed the crime from this point. However, if that's true. You couldn't possibly have seen Miss Sky making that phone call. All right, so it was this, but slightly different. But yeah. the point still holds. <laughs> the you logic can't is still see the, same. the phone. <laughs> <sighs> I believe you see what I'm getting at. That emergency phone was on the back side of the partition. If indeed you were in B block, you couldn't have seen it. What? Ah! Oh my god. Wow. She can't see through How walls. How did park there? <laughs> Order! Oh, what is the meaning of this? It's simple, Your Honor. Well, explain she, it to me. She's not coughing up lunch. She's coughing up lies. Oh! Burn! <laughs> wow, good burn. Objection. Thanks. That's quite a claim, Mr. Wright. Quite a Perhaps burn. Perhaps you will allow me a question? Tell us exactly what lie this witness has told the court. Here's where the counterattack begins. I can't afford to get this wrong. The witness lied about... Everything. <laughs> what uh, she saw, where she saw it, the order of events. She said she saw her use the phone, but, but she, she couldn't But she didn't, have. right? Yeah. Yep. Unless she was in a different spot. That's also possible. Yeah. We, we know it can't be the order of events. 
So it's either she's lying about what she saw or she's telling the she truth, but she's not telling the truth about where she saw it. Like, she, you're telling me she didn't, like, scale a nine-foot fence? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> she, did, she did arrest her. She did grab her. So. Yeah. True. Maybe it is where. Like, maybe she yeah. just came out of the door and she was like, what? <laughs> yeah. I mean, but she has the picture on the other side, which means she didn't scale the fence. She must have, like, run out and around and come back in maybe do you know yeah. what i mean from the opposite side yeah because i so, mean if we're presuming she didn't scale the fence and she saw the yeah. phone she has to enter from the left side not the right side yeah which means she didn't even see the murder <laughs> <laughs> that's also yeah yeah okay where where we where she's yeah. supposed to try it miss guy tried try. to use the emergency phone but it was out of order what is significant about this fact nothing Therefore, it would be pointless for Miss Starr to lie about it. Pointless to lie? I see. But say the witness did actually see Miss Guy using the emergency phone. It would mean Miss Starr witnessed the crime from a different location. Objection. A different location. Now, what, now that's a pointless lie if I ever heard one. Before you call my lie pointless, at least let me tell it. Okay. Let me ask a question to our clever wordsmith, Mr. Wright. Just where was the witness when she saw the crime? All the testimony we've heard until now points in one direction. The place from where Miss Starr witnessed this crime was here. Uh, well, standing on a car? <laughs> She's standing on top of the partition. <laughs> Maybe she saw it from the security room. Oh, because then she could see down. Yeah. But she couldn't. Well, no, the well, partition. Then how did she get the, the photo? Because hmm. the photo is definitely on this side. Hmm. hmm. Well, we know that she had to be on the side with the telephone, so. I mean, maybe she took the photo and then went up to the security room? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I can. Oh, I can slide this. Can't I? Can you? I can. Hmm. Not that it but helps, it would... but I just realized that. Yeah. I mean, I guess no, maybe no, no, the I point thought... is that she was an A and not in B. Like maybe yeah. we don't have to be that. overly specific. True. Let's try it. <laughs> just A. She was in A. <laughs> she was in A. Right there. Or you take that. Take that. If she was here, she could see the emergency phone. That's true. That solves the mystery. Good enough for me. Objection. That would allow her to see the emergency phone, yes. But if she was there, she would have she would have been able to arrest her well before she dialed her cell phone. Oh. You doubt my speed? I can run 150 feet in nine seconds, you know. What? Is that really that fast? Uh oh. Not as fast as your witty rejoinders. Hmm. Bottom ah. Uh yes, Your Honor. Okay. The place from Wait. where she witnessed the crime. I'm leaning security room on this one, mm -hmm. but like I don't know. I mean, you could certainly see everything from the security room. Yeah. Well, it's where did she witness the crime? Right? Hmm. Yeah. What if hmm. Because she my thinking is like she could have seen everything, quote unquote, everything from the security room and then run down. And then run down and arrested her. Like that would be yeah. logical. Yeah. So what if we just disregard the existence of the photo? Maybe she took a picture of a security camera. Yeah. Maybe it's a security camera. Yeah. Maybe she didn't take the photo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She didn't give it. I mean, she didn't give it to Edgeworth. So let's do it. Plus, that photo wasn't Kettle actually White? the moment of the crime. It was. The and yeah, it's the moment the after the crime, the crime yeah. anyway. So what does that matter? This is the only place where she could have been. The security guard room? Indeed, the security room in the underground parking lot is well positioned. It's built on the second floor so you can see the entire lot. Hmm, she would have been able to see the emergency phone from there. But why there? There are many other places where she could have seen the phone. Not in this case, Your Honor. The witness not being part of the prosecutor's office couldn't park in A block. The only place where she could have seen the crime and the back of the partition is here. I remember 
in your testimony, you said you brought a lunch to your boyfriend in the security guard room. Right. Yes. Well, Miss Starr. Uh, how many years have I been getting the better of men to think that the tables could be turned? Today, a man has got the better of Angel Star. Oh my wow. God! You lied about the whole you thing. You did it. <laughs> order or witness? What have you done? You used to be a detective. You should know better. I'm not turning back. The guilty will be punished. And I'll do what I must to make sure justice prevails. Isn't that exactly lie? what you hate about the prosecutors? I know, right? <laughs> the guilty. It's lost on her. Is she talking about Miss Skye? Um, Mr. Wright, doesn't this strike you as odd? Why did Miss Star lie? It doesn't make sense. Because she got her fired? Huh? She could have just said she saw the crime from the security guard station. It wouldn't change anything. Exactly. I agree with the sunglasses girl. <laughs> this photograph tells all. It was the defendant who stabbed the victim. That truth still stands. Objection. It still stands. I disagree, Mr. Edgeworth. What? If a witness is found to be lying, they're guilty of perjury. She knows this. She wouldn't risk that without a good reason. Perjury? Do we have that? I don't think we're we supposed do. to. <laughs> So what about Lotta Hart? We can get her back in yeah, here. Yeah, we have a lot of people back in A lot of people back in here. Literally Eddie. every witness. <laughs> hey, Bert. So tell, tell us uh, what her reason was, Mr. Wright. Uh, huh? Me? Ask Edgeworth. He's doing my job for me today. <laughs> you haven't done anything. Edgeworth's been carrying this whole case. I'm asking yeah. you. Mr. Wright, let's review what we know. I'm going to explain it now. <laughs> All right. Miss Starr witnessed the crime from the security guard station. But she lied and said she saw it from B-Block. It must make a vital difference. But what? What would it change? Mm, angle of view to the crime. Mm, yes. I mean, it could change. I mean, she's technically further away as well, isn't she? I don't know if that's 30 feet mm. still. Yeah. I don't know if getting downstairs versus scaling the fence. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, certainly the angle is definitely different. Yeah, mm -hmm. we know that. Why the angle at which she saw the crime occur would change. The angle? What, what do you mean? Um, well, the security guard station is on the second floor. And mm -hmm. um, she would have sort of a more 3D view of the crime. <laughs> Ooh, 3D! Yeah. And this is important. Why? Um... Mm. Oh. No. Oh, man. Perhaps you'd like to reconsider, Mr. Okay. Wright. Okay. Penalty. Yeah, well, let's review what we know. Angle, angel. It's so <laughs> coming together. It's, it's all coming it's all, together. It's all coming together. <laughs> okay, whoops, what would it change? The distance? Yeah, distance, I guess. Sure. Sure, let's try the other one. Uh, it changes the distance between her and the scene of the crime. Objection. My condolences, Mr. Wright. But one look at the floor plans, and it's quite clear. Oh, it's not clear. This is not drawn to scale. <laughs> <laughs> the distance between the scene of the crime and the guard station is 30 feet. Okay, that wasn't on the diagram. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see how that would change what she could see. All right, objection. What she saw is not in question here. What matters is the time it would take her to reach the scene of the crime. Oh. Miss Star, you witnessed the crime from the security guard station. Now, how long did it take you to go from there... To the scene of the crime where you arrested Miss Skye. Hmm. Well, witness? You. Yes? You ordered the squid wheels, right? The quality of my lunches has gone from low to inedible. <laughs> I was bringing a PB&J lunch with fresh boysenberry jam to my boyfriend. Wow. Mmm, boysenberry for the boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't in the station, so I waited. I witnessed the crime from the glass-walled station. Why were you, were you in the security room alone? Cue Scooby-Doo running bongos. <laughs> <laughs> and before I knew what I was doing, I found myself running towards the scene. <laughs> 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 but 
The door was locked. I couldn't open it. Are you serious? Wow. Oh my goodness. And that's why I had to go through the visitors parking in B block. That's quite a detour. It probably took me at least five minutes to get to the scene of the crime. <laughs> oh my God. That's so much time! <laughs> five minutes? That's a wow, long time. Long this lady's time. Not... She's an athlete. <laughs> this changes things considerably. But it was that woman over there in the defendant's chair who stabbed him. I know it. I have photographic evidence. You didn't see anything, So girl. she ran down the stairs around the corner, <laughs> then ran back around the corner, around another corner, <laughs> she... down the hall... Stop. She was yakety sax again over here. Snapped a photo, <laughs> popped the fence, <laughs> and then arrested her. I swear it. I swear it on my finest plastic spork. <laughs> you have a point. And the spork is a wonderful invention. That's not a lie. <laughs> Would you like another caviar lunch? Absolutely. Been waiting all day. Uh-oh. <laughs> Mm. Oh, mm. Mr. Wright, you have to do something. You have until I finish eating. Do I have <laughs> any evidence to stop this nonsense? <laughs> raise an objection. We have to raise an objection. Objection. I'll we figure it out later. It. Five minutes between the witnessing of the murder and the arrest. Think about it. You could make pasta in that amount of time. If you like it super al dente. Yeah. <laughs> Crunchy. I've got lunch boxes that tie pasta into knots, rookie. A five-minute blank. Isn't that strange? Strange. If you were a criminal, what would you do with five minutes, Your Honor? Mm -hmm. um, well, I, I guess I'd flee the scene. Hey, th don't get the wrong idea. I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> but you have the instincts of a killer. You would run, but this time was different. Judge better watch out next Miss Sky <laughs> dawdled at the scene of the crime. She even had her picture taken. No true criminal would act this way. It's inconceivable. Yeah. Yeah! Wow, she dropped her lunch. <laughs> well then, it seems we've come to the end of this testimony. The witness has a grudge against the defendant and a blank in her testimony. Mm. Mr. Edgeworth, is the next witness ready to go? I'm bored with this one. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately. Bring me another. <laughs> More! <laughs> I demand another. <laughs> I demand sacrifice in my <laughs> Bring Kill me the victim. <laughs> I appear to have overestimated this witness on account of her professional history. We did it. We screwed that can shut, Mr. Wright. <laughs> we did that, what to that can? That was <laughs> too close. <laughs> I'm afraid that the cough-up queen has been dethroned. I Say declare her. Mr. Edgeworth the new cough-up queen. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, court is adjourned. Uh, I'm sorry? Hmm? Who said that? Oh. Mr. Edgeworth, you ordered the squid wheels, right? <laughs> That's the one she tried to foist off on me. I prefer to not take the defense team's leftovers. Anything else to say? I might be able to save you. I have decisive evidence that I just made up. <laughs> what, what was that? Is this another one of her trick lunchboxes? My apologies, but we have no further questions to ask of you, Miss Star. Ah. Uh. Is this your jumbo lunchbox? Woohoo! A triple decker! <laughs> Ooh, out of the forge, until the witnesses <laughs> determination, I will allow one, oh, one more testimony. Let's, let's hear about this decisive evidence. I said good day. That's right. Mm. I think he's eating the box. <laughs> <laughs> like the Lunchland motto says, you won't be disappointed. What's she going to pull out of her lunch box this time? <laughs> and I don't know, Bert. I don't know. Oh, man. <laughs> Decisive evidence. Let's hear it. I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene and running wildly through the hallway. <laughs>
And now to the matter of the victim's shoe. Did I not bring this up? I'm sorry, you Did took you a shoe? Steal this? <laughs> Two types of blood were found on this shoe. What? One was, of course, the victim's. And the other blood type matched that of the defendant, Miss Lana Skye. Uh-oh. This shoe proves it. It's flawless, decisive evidence that now I just made up. We're cinderella over here. Wow. <laughs> What? There's blood found on a shoe. I'm trying to eat here. <laughs> Try Lunchland for all your lunch and decisive evidence needs. Oh my god. I, I gotta get me a lunch like lunch. that. I'm kinda hungry. Objection. <laughs> Witness, what's the meaning of this? Why is this the first time I've heard of this evidence? Simple. As I've already said, I don't trust you with evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. That's right. If the shoe fits and there's blood on it. <laughs> That's why I took the liberty of investigating this myself. And you had blood tests performed? Didn't I mention? I have three boyfriends in forensics. That's counting seven boyfriends at this point. <laughs> Keep counting. In, in any case, Your Honor, I can't accept this as evidence. Ooh. What? You must know the two rules of evidence law. Rule one. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. In other words, this shoe is illegal evidence, at least for the time being. Is that right, Mr. Wright? It seems so. Edgeworth <laughs> sure is celebrating. He's oh, actually following the rules? I I'm yeah, confused. Yeah, yeah. Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh? Don't forget, I used to be a detective. That You're not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> As I mentioned previously, this shoe has already been tested by a member of the forensics department. As you can see, it was approved by the police department as of today. What? Even the general public can produce official evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> is that right, Mr. Wright? It seems so. Uh, Edgeworth yes. is looking pretty <laughs> sullen. Uh. <laughs> You could at least study some evidence law, really. I think that's true. Man. Mm, the prosecution's complaints notwithstanding, mm, mm, it appears that this evidence satisfies the first rule of evidence law. However, it seems you have yet another count against you, witness. Anything to ensure that the guilty are properly judged. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. All right, let, this, let this be the last time, huh? <laughs> Decisive evidence. Yeah, okay, hold it. Yes, yes, hold it. Why did you lie about those five minutes? I guess you could say I just wanted people to look at the results. The results? Um, How many times do I have to say this? I saw the chief prosecutor stab the victim before my very own eyes. Compared to that, a five-minute blank means nothing. Then why didn't you just tell the truth? Don't make me laugh. We're dealing with the most untrustworthy of the vile lot known as prosecutors. Falsified evidence, arranged testimonies, erasing and manipulating evidence. That's what you did. Shut up. <laughs> when you fight monsters, you need to use every trick in the book. Uh, this is... This when the suspect is admitting she did it? But false testimony is the most despicable crime of all, Miss Star. Not punishable, but despicable. Apparently not. <laughs> Let's just get this over with. Let's. I'm I'm all full. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, hold it. Just hold I'm it. I'm full now. <laughs> and now, and and you found this shoe at the scene of the crime. I detained the chief prosecutor and notified the police department. I wanted to make myself useful while I was waiting for the police to arrive. So, like an ill-trained pooch, you snuck off with a shoe? <laughs> I was afraid someone would erase the chief prosecutor's crime. This shoe was my secret weapon, if that should happen. See this fashionable basket I have here? It carries more than lunchboxes, gentlemen. I'm happy for you in your lunchbox bag, really. In any case, you removed valuable evidence from the scene of the crime. But that's all right. Now tell us what you did next. <laughs> oh no, this court. Two types of yeah, blood. Yeah, two types of blood. So you brought it to the forensics department. 
If you're going to submit something as evidence in court, you need it approved. To do that, evidence must be analyzed by a forensics expert. And she got away with her little coup because she used to be a detective? The shoe does appear to have bloodstains on it. Yep, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, the man was stabbed after all. And that blood belonged to the victim, Detective Goodman. As I said, there were two types of blood found on the shoe. And the other blood type matched that of the defendant. Okay, it's just Lada. ketchup, yeah. It's just ketchup. Look, you can't say for sure the blood belonged to the defendant with a blood test. You claim to know something about blood tests, rookie? Huh? We'll speak up. Uh, well, blood comes in four types, A, B, O, and A, B. However, you can't tell from a blood test whether a murder was committed in cold blood. Uh-huh. What? Hmm. That's just a figure of speech, Mr. Wright. Actually, we can differentiate between millions of types with all the blood tests out there. Which means that we can more or less narrow any sample of blood down to just one person. Or so I hear. Th that's Who's pretty side are you on? specific. Right. Whose side <laughs> are you on? Science. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a little more time, I would have gotten DNA test results. But they said there's very little doubt it could be anyone's but Miss Lana Skies. Wait, so, okay. <laughs> you don't even know if it's hers? <laughs> so the suspect's blood was found on the victim's shoe. That ties her directly to the death of Detective Goodman. I was afraid he was going to say that. Yeah, this okay, shoe proves just it. hold it. Uh, I can't let this evidence go through without a fight. You ordered the pile of wieners <laughs> oh, no. from her many boyfriends uh, okay. <laughs> some like it hot mr wright some like your client she's in enough hot water to make a whole fat of soup oh god mr wright do you don't you have a problem with all those wieners <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a problem. <laughs> this is critical is there a problem with the victim's shoe there's a problem. There's, There's always, always a, problem. a problem. There's got to be a problem. <laughs> if I'm not imagining things, I'd say there is one critical problem with this evidence. A clear contradiction. That gleam in your eyes. You're still young, rookie. I'd give you a peppered fish guts now, <laughs> but you couldn't take the heat, could you? Oh, no. Let's see what Mr. Wright has to say. These are usually funny. <laughs> what is contradictory about the victim's shoe? Show us the problem with this evidence. Uh. Oh. Oh. There's blood. Why is it bottom. on the bottom of the shoe? Hello? I wonder if you noticed. Because I didn't until just now. <laughs> <laughs> There's blood on the bottom of this shoe. Don't mess with me, rookie. You can see it. <laughs> or it'll be your blood on the bottom of my shoe. Oh, oh my God. Mm, indeed, there is quite a bit of blood on the bottom of the shoe. It makes sense. The victim was stabbed with a knife. What could possibly be contradictory about blood on the bottom of his shoe? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh Give me God. a second. <laughs> Give me a second. Mm. Uh... Uh, oh, there's no blood uh, on the there's floor. There's no blood on the floor. There you go. And she's also wearing black shoes, <laughs> not white nurse's shoes. <laughs> well, that's Goodman's shoe. That's not. Oh, oh that's okay. his shoe. That's but right. you're right. He's there's all... still no blood on the floor. Yes. The problem lies in the footprint. The footprint. Note that the bottom of the victim's shoe is covered in blood. Then isn't it strange? Why weren't any bloody footprints found by the scene of the crime? Whoa. Uh -oh. I told you these were funny. Uh huh. Hey, Wicked. <laughs> da, na, na. Yeah, the shoe is a weird word. Let's just put shoe. it out there. Shoe, shoe, shoe. shoe. As you shoe, can shoe. see, there were no traces of any such footprints at the scene of the crime. That contradicts your claim about this shoe. Objection. This picture only shows part of the floor, so there could have been bloody footprints. Objection. Then where are they, Mr. Edgeworth? Because we checked the scene and found nothing of the sort. 
They found nothing of the sort. That's true. Well, shoo, true. shoo, shoo, shoo. Shoo, there. shoo, shoo. <laughs> order, order. Shoo, shoo. Well, we just... <laughs> what? I... I... <laughs> Great going, Mr. Wright. She's uncomfortable. Yeah. But it's true that the lack of a footprint is a contradiction. But then we have to ask why there wasn't a footprint. Oh. That's true. There has to be a reason why there wasn't a footprint. Think, Mr. Wright, think. Hey, I don't know why it's not there. I'm just good at finding contradictions. What? <laughs> Hold it. All right, he's going to do my job me. for me again. <laughs> I see. Now I get it. Get what? Our witness is more devious than I gave her credit for. We were hoodwinked to the very end. But she slipped. There is one vital hint to the truth in her testimony. What are you talking about? Think back to when she told us about apprehending the suspect. The chief prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain, vain, vain. <laughs> she knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum, drum, drum. <laughs> oh, she's beautiful but deadly. A predator, this one. A leopard woman. Row, 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 row. <laughs> Oh, such fun memories. <laughs> I thought that Good was times. a strange thing for the normally cool-headed chief to do. <laughs> to go so around. nostalgic. <laughs> now, witness, allow me to ask a very simple question. This oil drum, was it empty? Uh, oh, that. Hmm. I'm not sure I like your attitude, Mr. Edgeworth. Though apparently you're not the slowest conveyor belt in the lunchbox factory. Witness! What? Well, was the oil drum empty? Hey, Dragon Kuro! Thank you for the raid, oh! Well, oh, hello, how's it raiders. going? How's it going? Raid. After him, we're talking about fun things like shoes. <laughs> shoes. Shoes, 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 shoes. <laughs> Welcome, the Raiders. The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. Gasp. Dragon says, hi, amazing VA crew. Aw, thanks, Dragon. Glad to have you here. Hope you Hello, had a great Dragon. stream. Water? What does that mean? Still don't get it, Mr. Wright. No. Do you want to know the reason she knocked it over? The real reason? Aha! You, you don't mean... Yes, the suspect knocked over that oil drum for one reason and one reason alone. To erase the bloodstains that would become evidence against her. Okay, blood doesn't just get erased that easily, but okay. What? Does blood what? Look like that? I don't think it does. <laughs> that ties things up quite nicely. I'm satisfied. Hey. <laughs> the blood stains left on quiet. The blood stains left on the victim's shoes tie her quite clearly to this murder. Then, after the deed was done, she knocks over the oil drum to erase the telltale signs. Because that's how blood works. Hey, you yeah. just throw a bucket of water on it. <laughs> Why, that's a prosecutor's specialty. Erasing evidence. That reminds me. Miss Guy's right hand was hurt. Didn't she say she'd cut herself when she stabbed him? So that's when my sister's blood got on the shoe? Well, I see no reason to prolong this trial. Mr. Wright, do something, please. What? What can I do? Throw a shoe at him. <laughs> Throw a shoe at him. Your sister has confessed to the crime, and she tried to conceal it. But... Smack, enough. There is no need for further debate. The verdict, Your Honor. Mm, very well. But Angel Star is on the prosecution's side. She could have been lying about the water. This court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. Hold it. What? Hold Wait it? a minute. What? Little girl, what did you just say? Oh, apparently that was me. Huh? Oh. Me? Did you say that I, Angel Star, was on the prosecution side? Uh oh. oh. Well, yeah, you are. You're saying my sister hid evidence by erasing the bloody footprints. Well. 
I thought you'd had your fill, but here you are demanding a second helping. You haven't given me any lunch. Another lunchbox. A lunchbox called Evidence. Is there blood in there? <laughs> Could be. <laughs> what? Wait, witness, don't tell me you have something else. Er, Objection. But... I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> We're time all for tired, Mr. Edgeworth. The We're time for tired. deliberations is past. I ate five lunches. I need to lay down. <laughs> <laughs> Any further comments, and you will be held in contempt of court. We're tired of listening to you, lady. Oh my god. <laughs> Your threats don't scare the cough up queen. It should. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this photograph. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. A photograph? Like Nickelback. <laughs> I had it just in case anyone had the gall to suggest that the white shoe didn't belong to the victim. You should have pulled this out early. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> mm, I see no room for error in this evidence. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Mr. Wright, wait. Look at the asphalt in this photo. <laughs> hey, it it's, it's clearly wet. <laughs> Erasing the last trace of doubt from the court's mind. Immediately after the murder, the crime scene was washed with water. We already established this. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I guess I, I couldn't help after all. It's not your fault. I knew I could win this case from the beginning. And it seems this is what your sister wanted anyway. Uh, I'm sorry, Mia. Do we have a Mia? I think it's you. Okay. Right. Wet or not. Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. <gasps> Get yourself up off the asphalt. Take another good look. <laughs> Don't give up. Not until the bitter end. Ooh. Move your asphalt, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last piece of evidence. <laughs> Very well. This time I'd like to declare a verdict for good. I'm getting quite tired of this. Objection. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't end. Your Honor, wait. What is it with you people? Can't I hand down my verdicts in peace anymore? <laughs> Whatever it is, can it wait? No, it can't. Then it will be too late. The judge it's has to use the late. bathroom. Look at this photograph. The last I one submitted. <laughs> This trial isn't over until we give each piece of evidence proper consideration. Oh but I God. don't care. <laughs> so, right. Are you saying there's a problem with this latest piece of evidence? Yeah. I'll think later. <laughs> yeah, there's a problem. Right or wrong, I've got to go ahead with this. I suppose since we've come this far, we should give every claim a fair shake. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show the court the problem in this photograph. Mm -hmm. uh, There's something in the muffler. What is this? Take that. This, the problem in this photograph is here. What's this? There's something poking out of the car's muffler. Wait a minute, isn't that my car? <laughs> I should yeah. know that. <laughs> that is your car. Wait just a moment, Mr. Edgeworth. Your Honor? You just said muffler. That's today's secret word. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> However, I see no trace of a muffler or scarf of any kind in this photo. Uh, a muffler is also a part on a car or motorcycle, Your Honor. Just think of it as part of the exhaust system, a pipe. Oh, I see. And I see. <laughs> I'm not much of a gearhead. <laughs> What's that suspicious-looking cloth sticking out of the car's muffler, as you call it? <laughs> so what if there is something sticking out of the muffler? Hey, Azala. What does that have to do with this case? Girl, you were going crazy about a muffler earlier, <laughs> right? <laughs> Nothing. Stop bringing up okay, the muffler. Okay, objection. Sorry, Miss Starr, but it's not going to be that easy. In fact, you've already told us why this is important to the case. You said as much in your testimony. Wow, three exclamation points. What? Let's hear what Mr. Wright has on his mind. Tell us why you think this piece of cloth in the muffler is related to this case. Okay. Oh, shoot. It's muffler on the phone. Oh, oh yeah. The word muffler, Take that. Miss Star, 
Recall your testimony for the court. Ah, uh, yes. When I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler, muffler, muffler. <laughs> That's what had me confused in my earlier testimony, Moni, Moni. Such good memories. Mm-hmm. <laughs> muffler. Uh, ah, muffler. Could it be that the <laughs> muffler you heard mentioned was actually this exhaust pipe? If so, that means this piece of cloth is vital evidence. Ah! <laughs> muffler. Uh, uh. muffler. We did it. She's dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, seems we will have to suspend the proceedings mm. because she died. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> never mind. S suspend? I find myself wondering about that piece of cloth in the, the muffler. The muffler. <laughs> If we leave any question unanswered here, we will do a disservice to the law. Have the car at the crime scene inspected at once and bring me that cloth. I gotta know what it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the verdict will wait until after we've seen all the evidence. Agreed? Yeah. I suppose so. Whew. That was close. But we made it, at least for now. Look, I'm tired of this lady, too, but <laughs> this court will adjourn for a 30-minute recess. It's lunchtime, after all. You just all. ate, like, oh my five God. lunchboxes. He's still hungry? He digested it, so he's still hungry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off to my chambers. <laughs> <laughs> the well, pots await, and nature calls. <laughs> old man's got to eat. He did eat. He ate yeah, a lot. Day two, nature calls. He ate a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Part two, nature is calling. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, well. Uh, that concludes the first part of the trial. Wow. Well, that, that was, was a, lot. a lot of trial. Yeah. Very, yeah. A lot of more back and forth than any of the other episodes. Yeah, there sure. was definitely like a lot. Like a lot of mm -hmm. examining of evidence. More yeah. so than usual, I feel like. And this is only the first part of the trial, too. Yeah. So, yeah. Quite a bit. More to come. More to come. A lot going on. But we got to yeah. hear from that cowboy. That's right. Yeah. We got to hear from the cowboy, and we'll see who the <laughs> next witness is next week on Phoenix Wright. Uh, thanks for hanging in there, friends. We went over just a little bit of time. Appreciate you, mm -hmm. Zeppelin yes. Cafe, Jada Retrospective. Yes. Yay! Hooray. Also, we thank you, Dragon it. Kuro, for that raid. Appreciate it. And uh, everybody who hung out, thanks for being here, friends. Thanks for being yeah. here. Yeah. There will be more Phoenix Wright on Tuesday next week yeah. with friends and voice acting as we go yes. through this final case in the first game. Aw. We're almost done with the whole first game. Yeah. Wow. This stream is thanks to viewers like you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and we hope you're back next week, Anna. Yes. Yeah. And Anna, if you're listening, hope you're back next week. We're going to need your cowboy voice, maybe, next week. Let's hope so. Oh, man. That's right. The return. That's right. Um, let's see here. So let's go ahead and raid on over to a friend. Uh, let's see. Who Objection. am I going to raid over to? No. Objection. <laughs> no, you can raid. No. <laughs> Thank you. Hold it. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> um, let's see here. Who am I going to jump over and visit? don't know who has been streaming for a long time, so I'm just going to check around a little bit. Man, you people stream a long time. Four hours, five hours, six hours. It's only Tuesday. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's already late. Um, let's see here. All right, I'm going to jump on over, and we'll drop in on Varsenic. He's only been streaming for like two hours, so he's probably going to go for at least a little while longer. Hardly any time at all. Right, hardly any time at all. Um, we'll also make sure we raid other friends in the future. Uh, so you can take some raid mangoes if you'd like. That's a sub one. Oh, it one. is September. It oh. is. That's right. It is September. I forgot. You got to have long streams for September. That's Let's true. See. I mean, I'm just going to stream how I want, but <laughs> <laughs> other people will be having very long half. streams. That is true. All right. Cool. And we will see you all next week. And also, I'm starting Uncharted Drake's Fortune. That's the first game on Friday at noon. 
Wow. So there you go. Woo-hoo. Yeah. That was fun. Thanks, friends. Yes, thank, thank you, you for hosting. Yes. And we will catch you all again next time. Until then, where's the emote? Here Where it is. is. It? Here we go. Good night. Good night. Okay, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>